Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Plays Hyper Rogue. Uh, we're still really getting used to orb strategy mode, and uh, with a little bit of distance, I realize I've been uh, making a lot of mistakes. So we have uh, 12 orbs now and one dead orb. And so uh, we're going to try and play a little more carefully. And uh, just try to uh, do better. Um, so one thing that I uh, discovered is that apparently there are free orbs of safety in the crossroads once you have uh, 25 uh, Phoenix Feathers. I think. I read that in a forum post. There we go. So yeah. So we don't actually need to be as careful with our uh, orbs of safety as I thought we did. So let's take a look at our inventory. We have no more orbs of earth. Uh, we have no more orbs of shielding. Two orbs of flash. Uh, three orbs of life. One storm. One winter. So let's try and figure out what we want to do next. I think we want to go back into the icy land and see if we can get some more orbs of flash. And so we need to be really, really proactive about combat uh, because this is a very dangerous area now. And uh, basically the, the biggest mistake I was making last time was not taking combat seriously enough. And so we got into a lot of situations where I was forced to waste orbs, especially our orbs of safety. So we're going to use bonfires to pull the uh, ice wolves off of us. And uh, we're going to gather up some more or uh, ice diamonds until uh, we get, we see the, uh, the number of orbs take over. Let's take a look at the inventory. Next at 28 to 47. So the way that that works, I looked on the forums, is you get, basically every time you get a new orb, it picks a random number uh, between one and some upper limit. And uh, you have to get that many orbs uh, or that many treasures before you get the next orb. Excuse me. I'm a little bit, a uh, little bit out of it today. It's been one of those days where, you know, for whatever reason, just couldn't quite wake up. Now, I would like to stay, you know, someplace where we can get back to this ocean, but it's not going to be easy to do that. And so we might just need to say, eh, we would like to, but it's not that important. Now, let's see, I'm looking at this. I would like to get in here with this cluster of ice diamonds, but I think the more important thing to do is to deal with some combat. And we need to be really careful about when our ice melts. And it looks like it'll melt on the next turn. Uh, not quite. Okay, so this might actually be too bad of a situation. I'm not seeing a way out of here at this point. And so I'm going to head to our inventory and I am going... Oh, we do not have any orbs of mirror. That's pretty bad. Okay. So I'm going to keep fighting these guys off. All right, so yeah, there we are. We're in a game over situation. Uh, so we're going to use the orb of safety and that'll get us out of there. Uh, it'll put us very close to a crossroads. And uh, there's not going to be any treasures very near the crossroads. So we're going to need to go out in order to get more and we're going to be watching our number of orbs. The, uh, the wolves are actually pretty unpredictable uh, because of the way that heat works in this game. Boy, we're not getting very good luck with this. All 
All right, doing fine. There we go. Get up and fight that guy. And uh, the others, not really um, having an easy time of getting to us, which is fine by me. There we go. So there is our next Orb of Flash. So now we're going to try and get more Orbs of the Mirror. And uh, we have 21 treasures from there. So the Hall of Mirrors is already really dangerous. And uh, we're going to melt this ice at kind of an inopportune moment. So I'm going to fight this guy, then these guys. And now we need to flee. And so we might not actually be able to get in there. Uh, just because, oh dear. Yeah, this land is becoming so extraordinarily dangerous that... It's gonna, we're gonna have trouble even just, you know, getting out of it. And I'm having some trouble getting these guys lined up, so we're gonna use this gateway to try and line them up a little bit better, but we've got some Vikings after us. The wolves cannot get to us through the door, which is pretty good for us. But we can lure them over this way, and uh, get rid of them this way. We don't really want to collect treasures here, because the Orb of the Fish is not that useful right now. And uh, the Water Elementals are going to be extremely dangerous. So we're going to head back into this icy land, and uh, try to find our way out of here. Orb of Shielding is really, really valuable in this mode. Uh, but once again, you know, we're getting so much heat that we're going to have a hard time even getting in there. I'm not sure what caused that big flash of heat. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, it might have been a sandworm exploding because it got caught behind some enemies. So uh, now we're going to collect up spice until we hit 13 orbs, and we're going to try and use the thumpers really effectively. And uh, just try to, you know, play well, and, you know, play a lot more carefully than we were last time. Really try and play this more like a traditional roguelike, which I'm not very good at. Uh, I, I don't have that much experience with uh, roguelikes that aren't hyper rogue. And so, and I don't really do much high score stuff in this game. Let's take a look at when we get our next Orb of Shielding. Uh, we are out, and uh, our next is before 27. So let's. Try and keep an eye out for when that's going to happen. And so, you know, even within this game, I'm not that accustomed to fighting big swarms of enemies. And I'm not... You know, I'm not that uh, experienced with um, games where I have to play really slowly. Situations where I have to play really slowly and carefully. I tend to play this game uh, more quickly, more loosely, and, you know, I've, I've developed a kind of game site for it where I can really quickly uh, read situations that only have a few enemies. And there is our 13th orb, so that means we now have another orb of shielding. Let's check when our next one comes. Uh, it's going to be at 40, or before 40. And we are currently at 22, so that's quite a long way, and I don't want to stick around for that. So we're going to be looking for a way out of here. And we're going to be going through this gateway into this warped coast, uh, and that's going to 
uh, let us get back into the um, the icy land if we want. I think that's not the best idea. Let's see, we're on the same color as that rattling. And so we need to whack a tree to get to it. Now we can get its boat. Uh, the Orb of the Warp is not really that important. Um, I don't think it's something that's worth pursuing. But uh, the Orb of Time and the Orb of Teleport are both extremely valuable. So let's take a look at the overview and see if we have unlocked Relia. And we have not. What is... Let's see, 200 treasures. Wow, okay. So, let's see. Have we unlocked the Caribbean? We have. Uh, so, I think... Let's see, will the overview tell us when we get our first one? Orb of Time. It looks like not. Uh, but I think the first one always comes at 10. And that is totally within reason. So let's try and find one of these where we can, you know, make a relatively quick path into the center. And it looks like we've already got some compasses. It looks like over this way. So let's head over to this other compass and see what it has to tell us. There we go. So there's what I mean about the game site, is in situations like that, it is not at all difficult for me to uh, figure out, almost without thinking, uh, what it is we need to do. Let's use ALT to try and highlight the treasures. Looks like nothing within reach right now. And so let's see, we're heading over this way. There's a couple for us. And there's another one that is... Oh, two more that are well within reach. So let's grab those and then take a look at what direction we're going and uh, if there's anything else that we can grab. And there's one over here. Now this is taking us quite a ways out from the center. But uh, we don't actually have to be very deep for treasures to be able to spawn. However... We're getting a little bit of trouble with these pirates. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Alright, so that'll slow them down. Because they now need to find their way into boats. There we go. So let's head back in here. And uh, see if we can get some more treasures. We can use uh, Alt to look around. Nothing within reach and I'm not sure what direction we're going at this point. So it looks like we're heading over this way, but it's not completely clear. So let's get a compass. We're actually heading over this way somewhere. And once again, not really any way of knowing. So let's grab that. We're going between these two stands of trees. And there's another treasure for us. Let's grab that and then see if there's anything else within reach. There is. That'll give us seven. So we only need three more. And I see one more we can get over here. And I see another that one that we can get. over this way and uh, there is yet another so uh, once we kinda deal with all of these parrots we should be able to get our 
9th and 10th. There we go. And now we just need to get out of here, which is usually pretty easy. Just jump into a boat and escape. So that went really smoothly. Ten treasures, you know, I'm getting better and better at getting ten treasures from especially the older lands that I am more familiar with. And so now we just want to find an exit. And uh, I'm not seeing one. Oh, there's one off in the lower left. Upper left now. So that is a living fjord, and this one's a warped coast. Uh, we'd like to find an open ocean, uh, because we do... Oh no, we are not even close. Okay, so how are we going to get the treasures that we need for... Uh, Relia. And uh, I think the Hall of Mirrors might be the answer to that. Now we shouldn't get too much trouble. Oh no, no, no. That was a big mistake. Okay. Yeah, I was not careful enough. Uh, so we're going to use another orb of... Let's see, let's use our orb of storms, because I do want to... I did not know it was going to do that. Okay, uh, luckily the ground filled in, and uh, we will be able to get back to this Hall of Mirrors. And uh, it's still going to be pretty crowded in here. And, uh, unfortunately, there's not many treasures spawning, and I made another big mistake. This is not good. Do I use our orb of shielding or another orb of safety? I think safety... Whoops. Uh, whoop, I, I just, I rolled the mouse instead of clicking, which you can't do to activate orbs in this mode. So we're going to use that. Oh my goodness, that is a wonderful effect. So, yeah, once again, we're not going to have many treasures uh, near where we spawn or near uh, the borders. All right, they're going to have to line up there. There we go. Okay, now we have some mimics. Now we are a little bit more protected. So we can trade that Mimic for a Mirror Mimic. Uh, let's see, we can attack that guy. That's probably a good thing to do. And then we can attack that guy. And then we can attack that one. Unfortunately, that caused a Mimic to open up a Mirror. And we don't want to do that. We want to keep our Mimics. And we want to get Treasures uh, because... We do want another Orb of the Mirror. It will give us a lot more ability to do things. So yeah, we're going to wait for this guy. Attack him. Unfortunately, that lost us the Mimic that was able to kill that guy. Alright, that was effective. Alright, so that's going pretty well, and uh, thinking about the Mimics is pretty tough, but I think it's something that uh, is going to make this really interesting. Unfortunately, these guys will not walk through clouds or mirrors. Okay, I want to avoid getting pinched here. Not a problem. I didn't even see that my Mimic was going to kill that guy, so that was very lucky. Uh, let's see. Look, let's look at our inventory. Uh, we don't have any mirror orbs yet. Oh, we have one. Okay. It's up there. For some reason, I thought it was going to be down here. So it's up here. We have one. 
Uh, we would like another. Next is at 32. That's interesting. So that one's not random. Alright, I'm not liking the way the tactics are working out here, so I'm going to back off. Uh, that'll actually let us kill that mirror spirit, and now we can line these guys up. Kill that one with a mimic. And start collecting more of these. Still should be paying attention. Uh, because we do need to be really proactive about um, mirror spirits especially. Let's see, can we kill both of those guys? Unfortunately not. So let's just kill that one. And then that one. And then we'll back away and just kill this guy ourselves. Looking around for mirror spirits, I don't see any. I should probably be checking after every turn, not just uh, after a particular round of combat. And there's one down there, so... Let's go there. Yep, that will let us attack this one. Is there anyone else? There's a narcissist coming. We can fight them off like that. All right, so now we want to kite these two guys uh, closer to our mimics so that we can hit them like that. Very good. So yeah, this land is tough, but once you have mimics, it is totally feasible. And so just keeping your mimics, you know, really... Um, Having a lot of them is what makes this feasible. Let's see, unfortunately we cannot kill both of those guys, so we'll kill that one, and then that one. Alright, we're running out of mimics, so we're just going to run up to that guy. Fight that one off, and then we can get a bunch more here. Oh, no we can't. Alright, there we go. That gave us a lot of mirror mimics, though. Which are not the best. So right now we don't have to deal with them, and we have one that's kind of guarding our, our six, which is nice. But uh, we're going to head out of this kind of position. We would like more cloud mimics. We're going to have to just whack this guy. But then we can get more Cloud Mimics and fight off that one. And that one. And I think we're good for now. We would like to find our way back to a crossroads at this point. And I believe, yes, we have two Mirror Orbs now. So uh, we are going to mirror our Orbs of Flash. Whoops. Oh, you need to stand next to a magic mirror to use that. That was my mistake. Okay. So there we go. So now... Um, so now we can gain three... So now we have five. So that's really good. So that was not as uh, ideal as I wanted it to be. Made a, a pretty big mistake there, though. It could end up protecting us as we search for a way out of here. And uh, if we're careful... Oh dear, we're, uh, we're out of Mimics, and so, yeah, now I'm just going to 
you know, try and do as much damage as I can with that orb of flash. But we, you know, we now have a way out of trouble. Get out of trouble free card. Uh, we do want to get more mimics as quickly as we can, which is not very quick. Oops. That was a bad decision. All right. Well, we have lots of flash now. And we have some safety. So I think I'm going to use the safety. And uh, we're going to wrap it up here. So in the next episode, uh, we're going to, first of all, be in a mad scramble for mimics, uh, which we have none right now and no way of getting them. Uh, if we end up using the Orb of Flash to get out of here, I'm not actually that broken up about it. And the reason is, we could have used Flash to get out of that situation, and then had to use an Orb of Safety at some other point. Uh, the goal is going to be, at this point, to get into a crossroads. And once we're there, we're going to have free Orbs of Safety, and so using that Orb of Safety isn't that huge of a deal. Uh, you know, we could have burnt an Orb of Flash just the same, and if we do end up burning an Orb of Flash, I still feel okay with that. You know, I still would like to keep our Orbs of Safety because they're another get-out-of-jail-free card, uh, but I'm okay with the way things are right now. So in the next episode, uh, we'll be, you know, first off trying to get Mimics, Second off, uh, trying to get back to a crossroads, and then figure out what we're going to be doing from there. So, until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.